All of us start with different circumstances. Temporary setbacks don't mean that the dream is not possible. You can dream big. There are no boundaries. The first set of challenges in my life was being in an environment with such social restrictions. I grew up in Chennai, India. My whole life in my early years was about being a good woman, about being a good wife, about learning all the chores, because that was what I was born to do. I really wanted to study business. My mother said over my dead body, and I decided to go on a hunger strike to go to school. I wouldn't eat until she signed the forms. And then finally, she relented. The next part of my struggle was coming to America and coming to a completely new environment. I didn't know anything. I didn't know the customs. I didn't know baseball. I didn't know what Thanksgiving was. There was so much vocabulary we take for granted now as an American many years later, but I didn't know what any of that was. About 20 years ago, I decided to rethink my life completely. I wanted to understand what made me happy. I had to look at my whole self. And that was a very uh, complex exploration. Music takes me to a very different place of myself. I didn't start to sing so that I could perform and be nominated for a Grammy or any such thing. I had no ambitions. I sang so I could find myself. Then we can, can come back I can't imagine the last day I felt stressed. I can't imagine the last time I felt unhappy. I mean, I have ups and downs in the vicissitudes of life, but my center is very, very joyous most of the time. Becoming a member of the Horatio Alger Association represents an extraordinary opportunity to work with other like-minded people in serving a common cause and furthering the American dream for a lot more people than what any of us can individually do.